300,000 tons of rock from space collided with Earth and blew the ground apart. The meteor was so huge, it ripped house-sized boulders from the ground. Try to imagine a few of these flying through the air. My fragment is part of that meteor. It's debris from the very birth of our solar system. When the solar system first formed, it was full of rock and debris, out of which the planets and the Earth condensed. However, there were some bits and pieces of rock that did not condense. And those leftover rocks remain, primitive relics from the birth of the planets. That's the origin of the meteorites. They share a common age and common origin with the Earth. So if you know the date of this rock, then you know the age of the Earth. In 1955, using radioactive dating on this very meteor, scientists at last reveal the Earth's true age. The search that had started with Usher and Hutton was over. I imagine that if James Hutton were still alive today, he'd be quite pleased with himself. He set off on a journey 200 years ago that he could never complete. He talked about a vestige of a beginning that he would never see. Well, today, by looking at rocks, not from Scotland, but from outer space, we can nail that number right to the wall. Since 1955, all ways to date the Earth have agreed. The Earth is 4,600 million years old. That's 4.6 billion years. Earth time is unimaginably vast. 